mowers, tractors. <laughs> See, I got the date and set in there, huh? Mowers, mowers, mowers. What am I supposed to do with all these mowers? There's one I picked up a couple of weeks ago. There's another one I got recently. Well, what if I was to tell you something's coming back big? Yeah, it's a mock up, but that is to give y'all a glimpse into what the future holds for us aside. I just did that for fun. <laughs> so, this is what we got. LTV-10. Okay. Set my nice Dr. Pepper down. Um, so you got a push mower sitting on it. That's just to hold everything up so I can kind of get the deck, uh, not the deck, sorry. The fenders level. These are the ones I rusted a few weeks ago in my how-to video. Nobody caught the point of that. It's to match. Nobody caught that. Well, anyway, I have two six-speed MST transmissions. One for here, one for there. I have four of these matching 2010-8 tires from Sears Tractors because obviously I'm not going to use these smaller ones. The LTV 10's fender is a little bit different, as you can tell from here, this curvature, and this is a little more just kind of like that. Um, but it's the closest I can get to a matching set of fenders. Now, I rusted them, and I'm still working on rusting them. You can see the nasty progress. It's going on um, I've been putting more chemical on it and everything else to uh, speed the process up but now I finally have the parts I finally have the desire to continue this project um, now it's just a matter of time you know for doing it Doesn't that look so awesome God, that thing's going to be a beast. It's going to be so huge. I mean, a mile long. And I, like I said, I stuck this chain on there on the handle kind of for a joke. It's like, hey, look, it's already a tow tractor. <sighs> Good stuff. But anywho, that's just an update on Russ's side. I've moved the tractor. It's been sitting over there where the Dayton's park now for three years. I finally moved it. Decided I would do a little mock-up. I did this for myself, but I figured I'd go ahead and video this. Um, for all you Russ's side fans, tow tractor fans. So, um, it's going to come along, you know, I don't know when I'm going to get around to doing this. It's, it's kind of in the works still, but um, I've got to uh, figure out everything as far as extending the frame out, putting the, tr the two transmissions in, getting it all lined up, get it to, to line up and work the way I want it to work. That's going to be the hardest part of this whole six wheel tractor thing is getting it all to match up and line up perfect because anything is off by a hair it's going to screw it all up um and uh for the extending the the, the frame this seat this is just one of them i have the other and off to the side on a bench but this is 1993 Craftsman frame. Remember the old black Craftsman 93, okay? I cut the frame in half, uh, just right at the console area back. I mean, if you can tell, this is where the sides of the fender used to bolt up to. 
um, and the, you had the um, shoot, um, you know, the rest of it all attached to it. But that's just one half of it. I have the other halves. Um, but getting the transmissions was the hardest part. I've got that one sitting there, and I have another one sitting in a uh, an Aaron's tractor. Same identical transmission, both MST. That took me the longest to acquire was those two transmissions. So this one over here, a little six-speed Aaron's. Um, so yeah, unfortunately I can't use much of the frame of it because it's a step-through frame and it's differently than the kind that has the the frame that comes all the way up and across. It, I can't use it. Because um, it would have been easier <laughs> to just unbolt the panels off that, cut it in half, and then just roll it right up behind Russ's side and weld it in and be done with it. Now I have to piece together those side panels it's gonna be a mess it's gonna be a mess um, I'm thinking I might end up having to put bigger tires on the front at some point to handle the weight of everything because that front bumper that was that was okay four years ago when I started this tractor it's rinky dink to me it's gonna get lopped off I'm changing that front bumper that is going to go um, and seeing how everything went with the Dayton, with the GT18 axle swap, if I can get a hold of another GT18 front axle and, and the larger tires, I'm gonna swap that out too. Um, what else? Um, but once I get this in a rolling chassis, um, six-wheeled rolling chassis, everything else will be easier to figure out because right now it's just a pile of parts sitting in front of me but once it's physically bolted and welded together I can then focus on okay well this has to be cut through here and here so I can build up the frame for the towing deck part of it because I can't just put the towing deck directly on the fender it all the weight of that is going to sit and crush it down once I start putting weight on the boom. So I got to build up the chassis from up underneath to the height of the fender and then probably cut out a good majority of this sheet metal and actually expose the, the inner frame up and then build a big flat angle iron and flat steel you know deck on top. And then that will be the building point for when I build uh, the boom from, the winch mount, um, the thing that's going to come up and go over and down, you know, that all tow trucks have, you know, the light bar will go on it, because I'm putting light bar on this thing, I'm going to make it all crazy, like a real tow truck. I've been watching videos on old tow trucks um, and how they work, uh, you know, it's got the, the little thing that hangs off the back with the two rubber slats, that's the kind of tow truck I want to go for. Um, oh yeah, notice I kept this little plate right here, sitting here. Well, that's from the back of the GT18 I scrapped. Um, I'm going to try to work this piece, okay, to fit in this cavity, nice and flush, and so it'll still have the little draw bar sticking down at the bottom, and then this will could this will be a mounting point for I can mount the piece that goes at the bottom that comes out that holds the bottom of the uh, the towing um, strap. It's called a uh, that saw tow truck is called a uh, hook and chain or also known as a sling type tow truck. Just so you all know what I'm talking about. Um, the gas tank, it's an under seat gas tank. Um, it's going to go under this half of the tractor which means I do have to cut a hole in this fender for the filler neck to stick through. Now, the problem I'm going to face then is, well, 
I build all this stuff on the top of this, I'm going to be faced with how do I get gas into the gas cap? So what I'm contemplating is getting some um, PVC plastic um, uh, pipe threaded material, screwing it onto the filler neck, and then going out to the side and then back up and putting the gas cap on the outside. That way I could just, it'd be on that side, but I'd just be able to walk up to it, unscrew it, put gas in it like a car. Um, those of you who are going to wonder, stacks, probably not going to happen. Because if I put stacks on it, and I don't want them up front, because I don't like stacks at the front, um, it's either going to have side pipes, which is what I originally always wanted to do, or if I did do stacks, I'd want them to come straight up through there, uh, like a semi-truck would, would have. And eh, my ear is going to be right there, and I, I'm already deaf as it is. So stacks are probably going to be completely out of the question now other other things i have to worry about is um the the braking okay one brake pedal to brake two transmissions i that's going to be a little tricky to get one lever to operate both transmissions i can do it um and it'll just be a little bit of finagling uh, one clutch only one clutch the two transmissions will be linked together by uh, a double stack pulley on top of them and just have a small belt that will go from each one now the clutch will be in between the front transmission and the rest of the tractor so I clutch it in it's gonna un it's actually gonna clutch in both transmissions at the same time shifting both of them are is also going to be a little bit of a task um, it's going to have the console shifter that goes back and forth and um, what I'm going to have to do is make a linkage that comes off the side of that and it's going to have a have to have an adjustable bar that comes on to the back and hooks to the transmission another little bar and then that way, when I shift it, it's going to pull the bar this way, which, you know, little rods connect to, and then it'll pull another shift link steering bar. You know, you know what I'm talking about. It'll be, um, well, this transmission right here has basically what I'm talking about. It's got this little bar sticking out, and it's adjustable. Um, this is one that's going in it. So... A shifter part will come out and up and then that'll be the actual shifter this will move back and forth and then I'll have a similar piece on the transmission behind it and it'll shift them both at the same time so that it's not gonna be too hard to figure out I'm not worried about an engine everyone you know has, has commented why haven't I got an engine in this thing yet Engine's the last of my problems and worries because it's an 18 horse twins going in it. One that I already had that ran. Um, it'll fit in there no problem. Um, all I have to worry about with, when it comes to time to put an engine in it is just bolt it in, clean the carb, wire it up, hook up the, hook up the throttle and the choke cable, and put an exhaust on it. That's the least of my worries. Uh, it's easier to move it around right now with no engine. If uh, I have to tip the tractor up on its end to do any work to it before I convert it to a six-wheeler, I can still do it easily. Um, so that's why there's no motor in it. Uh, okay, anything else I can think of? Not too much really yet. Um, I'm just trying to like get everything that's on my mind out and on this video um, it's coming on 15 minutes the battery is <laughs> almost dead on my camera so um, that's what like I said this is what I got going on so far um, I'm still inter I'm still into this thing I'm still gonna build it up just stay tuned keep watching thanks for supporting